There's a few moves that you can work on for going under the stick, but the other sweet move to make is through the legs. That's the real ankle bender. We're going to work on that one. It really requires quick hands and fast speed. So you have to be accurate with where you're putting the puck and catching that puck and then tapping it. So you need quick taps for this one. So we're going to start by going forehand, backhand, forehand, tap through. It looks like this. We're going to start here. Remember, a nice low athletic stance. You want to get those knees bent, have that body movement with these moves. So we're going to start stick handing the puck in front. We're going to move this way, move the puck in the backhand, and then forehand tap through. moves, what we're looking for is triangles. So you're not just doing the move because you have it in your head beforehand. You have to recognize the situation and then quickly take advantage of the weakness of the defender. So what you want to look for, you can easily recognize a uh, position that you can expose on the defenseman, is to look for triangles. For example, when I'm standing like this, you can see underneath my stick, there's a triangle right there. When you recognize that triangle, you can see it exposed, so you have the puck right there. That's a triangle that you can move through to go to the other side. Same thing with the feet. If you catch the defenseman like this, opening that triangle, then you see a spot that you can go through. There's a triangle right there. Same thing if you get a defenseman reaching for the puck like that or trying to stop you like that. If you move in this direction with the puck and the defenseman goes like that, you can see there's a triangle right there. That's some, a place that you can slide the puck through and you can expose the defenseman and take advantage of that.